In this Rhino Grasshopper tutorial, uh, I want to show you how you can model the bow uh, building Calgary. As you can see in these pictures, uh, we're going to model this in Grasshopper and Rhino. We will use both of them. So you can see uh, how the building is modeled. It's not really complicated, but I want to explain how you can model the structure of this. So it's going to be a short one, but uh, fast one, and but you can learn from the panels. So the first thing I want to explain is how you can model the panels here on the, fr uh, the front side of the building, and then we're going to go for the back panels, as you can see here. And we will have the uh, plan of this building to finally model this in uh, Rhino and Grasshopper, as you can see here. We can just change this uh, and uh, have different results. So first of all, I'm going to, let's just start from scratch and let's just go to the new file and I'm going to use the small meter object. Okay. And what I'm going to do is to use this uh, plan uh, for the curves and drawing that. So let's just get started. So I can just simply put that picture into Rhino, drag it into Rhino and then use as a picture it's okay and i'm going to click this you can see that's going to scale this up so we can simply look at this from the top and draw this the first thing we have to draw is this simple arc here so i'm going to go to the arc section and use the arc three points so let's just do this and we have the start I'm going to use the shift key so the ortho is uh, on. So I'm going to go to this end and we can simply draw this arc. Okay. Um, and let's add this line at the mid center. So on the snap, over snap, I'm going to go with the mid and put a line from the mid up to the end. So this is going to be the mirror line we'll use later. So uh, let's also draw this one for the building and I'm going to go for another arc and let's just draw this and maybe start from here again with the shift key and at the center let's just go here here we go uh, then we need this one so let's just draw this and again this arc it's all about drawing simple arcs here and let's just go here and we have this arc and we can simply go for the mirror. So we can just continue like this and draw this for the building. Let's just go up and go here. Okay, we have to add this one here and just check this out. So it's going to be at the ends. And again, okay, we're good to go. And now we can just connect, uh, use these curves and mirror them. I'm going to use the mirror section and go for here. And that's it. So you can see that we can uh, use that and we can just simply connect all of these curves together with the shift key. I'm going to use the connect and you can see that it's an open curve so we have to fix this so if you want to have, make that solid you can see that the problem is maybe somewhere like this so let's just explode this again and use this control point to move it here and let's check this out that's okay and now we can just join them and you can see that one closed curve that's okay so that's for the building and you can see it that i have used this to make the solid so here we can go and go to the perspective section and just extrude this with the solid and extrude closed plan curve okay so i can bring this up and let's just go to the shaded mode so you can see that okay so after doing this we can also extrude this with using the gumball we can just use that uh, blue button as you can see here just bring it up and it will extrude but if you're in Rhino 5 you can simply just move this up and use the control key to extrude that 
and uh, for the next section i'm going to use the curve and simply explode it and extrude this curve this curve and this curve here and another one here which is for the building facade and we have another one here that's it so let's just move this up and extrude this something like this and make this a little bit smaller with the scale and i'm going to use the shift key to make this a little bit slightly uh, smaller so when you just look this at from the top you can see it's just coming a little bit down okay so we now have this uh, surfaces for the facade and i'm going to choose all of them because i have used the extrude i'm going to hit the explode so they're going to go into the nerves and then we can just rebuild them maybe 10 to 30 it doesn't really matter but i want to show you that these are the surfaces i'm going to use in grasshopper so let's just hit grasshopper and go into that you can see that i have used the simple launch box tool so what i'm going to do is to go for the first facade and as you can see here in this picture uh the first thing is that we have those panels the triangle panels we can simply do that with uh, launch box so let's just go here and for installing the launch box you can simply uh, go to uh, parametric okay i have to type this parametric 3d.com backslash en backslash launch box or simply go to the website and download this plugin you can also download the example from the website so let's just set this to the front facade and let's just turn this off and i'm going to go to the launch box section and go to the panels here we can use the triangle panel b for the facade so here we go and if i give this to the surface and let's just put the bifocals plugin so you can see the commands here we go turn this off you can see that these panels are from uh, left to right but uh, if you just check this out you can see it's going up and down so we can simply go here and go to the utility and use this reverse surface direction tool so let's just do this reverse surface direction tool the surface comes and goes out and the reverse option you can see that there's a the three is the reverse uv so i'm going to give this a three and you can see that's going to fix this and here we are and um, we can simply just change the division of the u you can see here and we can also change the division of the v and use that for the facade and the best way i want to explain to uh, model this facade especially for this uh, let me just show you and to make this a little bit of a 3D uh, model and extrude that, uh, I prefer to use a uh, ViewVert. So what I'm going to do is to simply go to the mesh utility and make this a mesh because it's going to be more easier to work with. And I'm going to make it mesh. It's a simple triangle, so it can be a mesh. And you can see that this is uh, going to be mesh panels. And before that, we can also join them so if i go to the surface and use the brep join you can see that this is joining them into one it's simply a join thing so it's going to join those panels into one uh, poly surface and then we can make that into a mesh and that's the difference because uh, if you connect the panels to the simple mesh you have simple planes of those mesh but now we have a complete mesh and now we can work with that easily so we can go to the viverbert plugin and use this simple picture frame window to make the structure so let's just see we can give this mesh to the polyline mesh polylines inputs and give this a distance and you can see that i could increase or decrease that that is really simple and then we can use the picture uh, frame mesh window so let's just give this same distance so you can have uh, the windows and the frames uh, the most important thing uh, the, that i uh, use the simple mesh is that because you can also extrude them the mesh thicken is simply giving you a complete structure so you can use that for presentation and you can see that it's going to inwards 
So I'm going to give this minus x. And let's just give this uh, extrusion. And here we go. We can just extrude that and have this frame and window. So we can, we can bake this into layer one and bake this into layer two. And here we go. You can see how simple it is. So I wanted to explain how simple you can use this technique to uh, model this uh, panels as you can see here and the most important thing is that you can see that the panel has small triangles at the end so this is exactly uh, how we made those triangles at the end okay so let's just go at the back of this building and at the pictures let's just look at this and I have to go back okay here it is this is the back of the building so this is going to be easy with lunchbox and you can see it's a simple uh, panel let's just focus on this uh, with an x on it and on those panels so let's just go again into the lunchbox section let's back grasshopper lunchbox panels and here we have that the triangle panel c that is really easy so you can also use this and for making this easy, let's just uh, use this uh, BREP join and copy paste this. So again, we have uh, some panels we're going to join and then use those same methods of mesh window, mesh thicken, and picture frames. So again, we can give this to multiple surfaces, this one and this one. And let's just turn this off. We can also turn the just okay that's okay so now we can turn this off and change the number again you can see that this is the panel but we don't have those uh, flat lines you can also add that with a simple uh, quad panels if you want and then add that to the multiplication okay so let me just show you okay that was the triangle panel plus that's the panel C and we had that same I think that I just deleted that. Let's just extract this and give this to the panel C. Okay. And here we go. And you can see how simple it is to have that panel. So let's just division, change the division. I'm going to just decrease that. And we can just have that something like this. And this is really easy. You can see how simple it is to put those windows with frames on it and we can just turn this off and check out the extrusion i think we have to just take off that minus x so we'll have that outwards and again we can just bake this into layer one and bake this into layer two that's really easy and you can see that how simple it is to produce those panels at the back and for the extra uh, extra tip you can see that we have okay let's just zoom in from here you can see that we have also panels here which is for the windows we can also just do that for the last command and that is a quad panel so let's just copy paste this and use the control key to just delete that and go to the quad panels so we can also set this to this surface and this surface and now we can simply also turn this off and maybe we need four division in the u, di u direction or more you can just change that and maybe 12 in the v division or you can increase that if you want to have the same you can just uh, have the same number here I think that it's 15 maybe if that just has the same effect you can see that this is exactly at the same height of that okay and we can simply again uh, bake this into layer one and here we go into layer two so this is the way you can also do that and let's just go to the extrusion and make this a little bit smaller. So you just go inward, okay. And here we have those uh, 
panels, you can see how easy it is. I just wanted to show you how you can use the launch box and combine that with Weaverbird's plugin to simply uh, produce those panels. We can also go to give this material and click on this simple thing and give this maybe uh, a metal look. And let's just give this a stainless steel. And let's say it's a rough one. And if I just go to the render section, you can see this is going to have a stainless steel. But you have to use the render, but that's going to show you. The next is the layer two. So let's just give this a glass. And let's just give this a blue. And we have this clarity. Okay. And you can see that you can also put a glass for that, or maybe we can just simply put this as a paint. I want to show you how paint just simply puts the color on it. Okay, here we go. And that is the building. You can simply use that technique, and we can also use the default as a paint and maybe give this a black thing. Okay. So that was the tutorial of how you can make the uh, bow tower in Grasshopper and Rhino. You can see that we use both of them. Sometimes we just want to have fixed curves so we can use Rhino and then extrude them and then give that into Grasshopper because we want to change the panels to have a nice look on those panels and have the divisions controlled. So we could just switch into Grasshopper and uh, make those panels division in Grasshopper. Okay, thank you for watching and hit the subscribe button. Remember, you have to also hit the bell button so you can uh, get informed about our latest videos. And thank you for watching, like our video, and see you next time.